Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. A clutter coach and professional organizer, Julie also offers tips to help you get clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Hey everyone, this is from a clip I did in the spring called Bring the Neat To, which was a panel that Rapid Gift Bag put together. There's lots of great information here of technology you might have that you don't need. So take a listen to see what you can let go of to reduce your clutter. And at the end of the segment, I'm going to give you an update about what is going on with my phone and what I ended up doing. Julie Caraccio, uh, her and I uh, have gone back and forth on Google Plus for like a while, and then she did this really cool video with Peter Walsh, and I made some really cool compliments on it, and then we started talking even more that we were just on the pinging, and then we got on Hangouts, and now I think we're in love, and I'm so happy she's remodeling her kitchen. It looks great. Her husband is a great guy. She's great, and uh, it's just and, and and she introduced me to a few other people on the panel, so I got lots of love for Julie, and I want to give a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank Julie. you. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Bring the Neat 2. All right. Well, first of all, huge shout out to you, Adam, for putting this together because I know how much time it takes to, to create an event like this. And I also want to say our bar has been raised, so I'm going to keep it raised. We've had an amazing panel, so I'm going to keep the energy and get going. First thing I want to say, if you're not about planet Earth or the polar bears, hopefully in my presentation today you'll see that being green is also about saving money because it's equally important in business. And I want to let you know, uh, Adam, you were a great example. When I first got your product, the first thing I noticed is you didn't waste any of packaging. And so that ends up making a huge difference. And even if you're like, you know what, I'm a New Yorker. I love the concrete jungle. I sneeze when I get near trees. It's okay because you made a really smart business decision, and I'm betting you saved a lot of money by being really uh, conservative, conserving your packaging. The first now, I'm really excited. Adam wanted me to talk about this. This is a way you can save money. Now, Emily might need uh, resuscitation here shortly because I'm going to be talking about ways that you can let go of clutter in your technology. The first is your landline. I just did some research. 30% of Americans don't use landline. But what's even more interesting is the 70% who do, 50% of that aren't using the landline. Now we just re-papered our kitchen. Adam knows about that. We set off the alarm. So if you're worried, fire department came, we mixed, tried to call them to stop. If you're worried about, because I have an alarm system. I've lived in LA for 10 years. I'm like, there's no way that I'm living anywhere without an alarm. So without a landline, our alarm system works. You can have VoIP or cell phones if you're in a condo or a co-op. They have no issues with working for people to be called up and let in. But your landline is something, because most that's $40 to $50 a month. I let go of my landline two or three years ago. So that's something, again, I think this is where we really suffer from inertia. It's like people are like, oh, it takes effort to call the phone. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to really encourage you to do that now. My husband, this is the one I'm really excited about because this is going to save you a ton of money. And Adam, you and I have talked on the phone so you can verify that it's a good sound. I run a business. I have no landline. I no longer have a cell phone. So you're like, what's going on with that? And I know all of you who are watching and all of you are on this panel, you are immersed in social media. Can you imagine what a nightmare it would be to try to change your cell phone number on social media? So what I did is I ported my business number to Google Voice, and it has actually one of Adam's favorite features. When someone calls me, my name comes up, and, and, it, and it says that before they even get to me. So $20, ported my number to Google Voice. There is an app called Talkatone, which is free. You can download on your phone. You can do it free with ads or pay the whopping 99 cents a month to have ad-free on your phone. So... I was nervous. I made my husband, I'm like, push the button because if this messes up, I don't know what I'm going to do. So we ported it. I've had no problems. People can hear me. All it is is porting to Google and adding Talkatone. Now, but they we're only on Wi-Fi. So if you're like, you know what, Julie, that makes me too nervous. What we did is we just, because I, I said, eh, I think one of us needs to have something. So we have a really small data plan through Verizon. So what that means, if I'm out and about and there's not a Wi-Fi spot, I turn on my little hotspot and then I have I have cell service and I can download emails. So I'm covered no matter where I am. But the reality is more and more cities and areas are adding 
Wi-Fi. And so that just is really increasing your chance. So, I mean, I went from paying $80 a month, when, and which is a pretty pretty cheap plan, to only paying 30 for this. But again, if you don't need it and you don't use it a lot, you can get away with not having anything. Another area, so if you can get rid of the smartphone and and move it to the iPad, that's a possibility. Yeah, let me just jump in here one second yes. before you, you, you change the subject there. So $80 a month, that was the cell phone or was that with the cell phone and... Oh, eighty dollars a month was cell phone, and forty to fifty, I can't remember, was landline because I okay. let my landline go two okay. or three. So we'll, we'll call it forty. So that's a hundred and twenty dollars a month that you were spending, which which is what most people are spending. Okay. So from there, now, what is your total bill monthly? Well, I just because I have a plan, okay. thir well, thirty and then one dollar for the app, so thirty-one. But that can be eliminated too if you don't need it. You really might want to consider that dollar. That's probably pushing you right over the edge. I know, I know. Okay. So thirty-one dollars. So that's that. It's eighty-nine dollars, but we're going to round up and just call it ninety. So in my head, that's ninety times ten months because I can never do ninety times twelve. So that's nine hundred dollars plus one hundred and eighty. So that's nearly eleven $1 hundred dollars a year that you're saving. And something tells me that that thirty-one dollars somehow is going to end up turning into like $20 as soon as the next thing comes and you're on top of it also. So what an amazing finding of, of money without really doing anything that you're not doing already. It's just like learning a new song, right? Exactly. But wait, I'm going to save even more money. So get out your pen. It's better. Go. Now, again, all the credit goes to my husband because this really happened because of him. Now, I don't want to say that I'm ahead of the curve, but we are ahead of the curve. The new Consumer Reports that came out, and I didn't read it because I thought it would mess up what I wanted to say, but their front page is how to cut your cable bill. Okay, we don't have a cable bill anymore, so I want to tell you how we did this. And that was $80 a month. Oh, so what we did was we have um, – I'm, I'm sorry, Google Plus. My husband is an Apple man. So we have Apple TV, which is a one-time deal, but you can also get Google Plus TV if, you know, if you're a Google person. So we can watch this replay. We can watch YouTube. Now, we do have Netflix, which is, I think, a $10 a month plan. And so we don't have cable anymore. So that is our only cost. And we paid. I'm a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And I said, we cannot live without football. So we were at Costco, and they had a little HD uh, antenna that was on sale. It was the last one for 20 bucks. So we paid $20. So that's how we get local channels so I can watch football. Right. But we don't have a cable bill. Now, you know, we got, we had a really interesting wedding present. We got Game of Thrones season one and season two. So I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. Ended up loving it. Okay. So we paid, I had to buy season three on Amazon and the price went down. So I paid $25. That's still for season three of Game of Thrones less than my $80 cable bill. Sure, that's awesome. So by adding that other $80 that your cable bill was, so that, that brings it up to nearly $2,000 a year that you're saving. And sure, you had to get the Apple TV as a one-time payment, whatever it is, but you have it. You have the HD antenna. And to be honest with you, I mean, I'm, we're in the, in the, I'm in the New York area, so we use uh, Optimum Online. It's great. I love them. They give us the local news, yada, yada. I've never had a problem. I like them so much better than the other big company out here, which... I would say their name, so I will, Verizon. So I love them much more. But um, you know, the bottom line is, is that I recently just got the the Google Plus Chrome, uh, the Google Chromecast, and uh, now I'm watching my online stuff. You know, some of the great Hangouts. Uh, you know, that that a lot of these panelists do. Like when I get home, instead of watching bad TV shows, I'm watching stuff that educates my mind that I can't find on all the let's call it crappy shows that are on regular TV. I mean, some of them are so ridiculous and so mindless. I mean, Game of Thrones, you know, it's, it's good. It's people like it and everything, but there's a lot of stuff out there that isn't good. Um, and some people may argue with us, but we're just nerds and we like stuff like that anyway. So, you know, the bottom line is, is that there's so many things you can do and to find $2,000, I mean, that could be, you know, a down payment on, on, a, on a car in some senses, a small car, a used car, anything like that. It could be a little vacation getaway that you get for your family. But it almost, to Italy, let's, you know, talk about the important things, another sure. vacation. Yeah, and, and I think really probably what it does is it probably gives you a little bit more time to spend with the people around you because you're not so distracted. I mean, it's, it, it's... It's quality of life. You're not sitting watching someone else's life or whatever, and I'm not bagging stuff. I mean, I have an online television show. I do Google Hangout series, but I'm educating people. So I believe it increases your quality of life. And who better to educate than you, Julie? 
Exactly. <laughs> I mean, seriously, right. if you were going to watch something on TV, you want to watch yourself, of course. Of I understand. Course. So I it's great. More suggestions, and hopefully Emily hasn't died of a heart attack because all of this focuses on technology. But camera, unless you're a professional photographer or unless that's your passion, and you know, I just have to say this if it brings you joy, then it's not clutter. My whole goal is letting go of the stuff that doesn't bring your joy, doesn't raise your vibration, doesn't doesn't make you happy. But the cameras are HD now on smartphones, on iPads and all of that. So you really don't need a camera. They're pretty high quality. Now this one is again, I see this moving towards the future. Everything you need really now are on the smart tablets and the iPad. So if you're a graphic designer, you're going to need a computer. If you do a lot of stuff like this, especially on TV, you're going to need a computer. But I see a day of us, a majority of people being able to let go of computers and doing everything from their smartphone. So that's right. down the road, but that's just setting because again, that can save you even more money. Sure. Now, Okay, everyone, here is an update on my phone. I still don't have a phone. I'm using my iPad mini successfully. We use Hangouts on Air to make calls via the computer and both of our iPads. Our iMessenger set up, so we message that way. We're also able to use the Google Voice app that's still on our iPad to message as well, and we also get messages uh, voicemail that way. But again, it's done via computer or an iPad. It's worked great. We've had no issue. I know that Talkatone has updated its technology so if you're on Android that's something that you might want to check out but no regrets seeing that phone bill go bye bye and if you're a little nervous and if you have a business like I do we you can get a hotspot we ended up getting one from Verizon we just thought for safety purposes so I paid thirty dollars a month for a personal hotspot we were at a hotel out of town the other day and it was like fifteen dollars to use Wi-Fi a day, which I'm too just not going to pay that. I'm too cheap. And so with a personal hotspot, we were able to check emails in our room, and it was a great little feature to have. So again, check out and see if you can let go of your phone and reduce your clutter. All right, everyone, go out there, reduce some clutter, and create the life that you deserve and choose. Thanks for joining us on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. You can find out more about Julie Caraccio and her services at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. We'll see you here next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.